Oh yes, well, well, he was called uh, he was called Peter Cook because his dad was Arthur. Oh, right. But he didn't really like being called Peter, apparently. Yeah. And, uh, so it was only so, 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 so he is to turn up Dodder Hill. Oh yeah. October fifty-six. Oh yeah. I suppose oh. the bells were new then, were they? I can't remember what date the bells were. Oh, right. been in the middle. Oh, yeah. afterwards to Peter Cook's house for tea. Oh right. Yes, I, I think. Um, I think he lived in Kidderminster for many years. He yeah. was a bank manager there. Oh, right, right, yeah. 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 Yes, I can remember him as being a very uh, sort of genial. Yes, uh, that's right. Cousin yes, man. indeed. Indeed, he was. And, yeah. and I can't remember much about him, no. to be honest. No, no. <laughs> I've no, had a couple no. of few of them. I must have met him in Worcestershire somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, um, yeah, know, it's well, a big. Well, 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 I mean, what I said is. Uh, Information I've got is in the is up in here, yeah. but now to, to kind of get that stuff that uh, I wrote that letter to the yes. ago, I mean I just simply refer to these. This is terrific. This is in my numbers, few books number one and two. I'm now up to about seven, you see. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they're not now in leather bound things like this because they're too expensive. <laughs> you can buy it's a job, job to get them. They're yeah. not made these days. Yeah. 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 And anyway, so so I mean, uh, uh, and from. On the, so you on kept the notes start, all your ringing. Yeah, I, I, I made notes. Well, there's just a sample of all this. Oh, I'd be very interested. And you kept photographs to go with them? Well, 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 well no, that was at Rogan. Oh, uh, really? Yes. Kenneth Bales, Ken, that's the fellow who taught me. Oh, yeah. Ken, Kenneth Arthur, yes. still alive. Oh, 90, really? 93 this year. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So did you learn at Roker? No, at Fennon. Fennon, you passed along. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. Uh, those photographs are very... Um, Striking in the sort of style. Of yeah, yeah, that was Margaret Fidel, Fid or yeah. who was with Men Bank, and she was, she was, uh, she was very friendly with uh, Jack Milhouse. I think they, oh, yes. they almost got engaged, but oh, they right. didn't quite. Because <laughs> he never married Jack. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, and she's still alive. And Kathleen Softly now was pro. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and, uh, a son called Dennis Crow was uh, similar. Oh, I see. Yes, and you've sort of kept uh, obituaries and things. Was that? Who yeah. Was it? Well, who was that? Dennis Bale. That's Dennis Bale. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 That's yes. him. He was a, he was on the Central Council. He was. Yes. Yes. So, what at what age did you come to Birmingham actually? Sixty-three. And, and how old were you then? Twenty-eight. Oh, right. Yeah. So you'd already done a lot of ringing. Oh yes. Yeah. 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 Does your Birmingham um, period start uh, in this book? Yes, yes, it does. So yeah. see, you have to. I'll just, I'll just show you the, yeah. the first time that uh, I'd, I'd, uh, George Fern, of course, was a, a legendary figure, and I first met him in field tours, Tom Lott's field tours, in, in the fifties. Oh, I see. You went on there. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, in the fifty-five, fifty-six, and fifty-seven, or something. Yes. And George yes. was on them, and he, he was very friendly and affable. And yes, uh, indeed. Of course, at those in the fifties, he was on. What was his peak? Yeah. He was on top form and yeah, ringing yeah. everything and yeah, yeah. and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks very much indeed. <laughs> well, mm. it, yeah, yes, and so so. Yeah. Uh, so Birmingham had been a sort of a very interesting. I mean, it was, I well, not what more today because it was Birmingham was sort of a mecca, you know. But Even then. Oh, oh yes, and was it? Was, it? Oh, yes. yes, yes. Well, and it was a lot to do with the the style, and and then in, in George's style was so, so affable and, and welcoming and, yes. and encouraging oh, to people. Right. So people like me, and he, he, he gravitated he, towards. Well, yeah. but he also. Because he, he laid things on, he didn't make him fuss about things. He just yeah. arranged fields. Yes. I was just going to say, and especially then, because we keep meeting ringers who say yeah. they went to Birmingham and they saw Alan there, and and uh, it was obviously uh, you know they travelled from a great distance <laughs> to get there and yeah. they hadn't been to a practice. Yeah. They remembered it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Said that. Yes. So, well, I think several people in fact. I think we've reached a point now, it seems to me, you know, where, in a way, it's, it'd be a good moment to record some of these things, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, people, I mean, obviously, I'm, well, I'm in my 60s now, and um, so uh, there are a lot of young people, of course, very, uh, very keen and everything, but they don't know, 
Well, it was like right. then. Uh, and of course, I only went to Birmingham in, in the early 70s, actually, yeah. 72. So, uh, and I wasn't, uh, I wasn't a very, uh, well, I had certain interests in ringing, but I wasn't very uh, competent. You know, really. and, uh, so, um, it, you know, it made a big impact. Yes, sir. So I came across St. George and uh, that's uh, yeah, first met him. Yeah. In fact, that lady who, who uh, you saw, Margaret Fidel, uh, in fact, I mean, she, I asked her about uh, Peel, because she used to go on Peel to this old chap in the house, or, uh, which is, uh, it's fairly unusual at that age. Uh, women weren't uh, yeah. as pushy as that. She was an architect. Right. A professional woman. Yes, I see. In yeah. fact, she, it's interesting that she is the, the first person with whom I had a telephone conversation, ever. Because we, we, didn't, we didn't have a phone at home. And so at about the age of, of uh, six, 16 or so, before I, before I started work, I, I, um, I, I remember going to a telephone box outside Newcastle Central Station yeah. and ringing Margaret Fidel, as she was then, ringing her up, to ask her about if she could she be in a field somewhere or other. And that was the first conversation I ever had on the phone. So oh, I remember. I didn't know I can read the inscription with yeah. trepidation yeah. to put this yeah. receiver to Press the button. Press, press button A. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah, it's yes. funny. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so, so and, and, uh, and she, I think I asked her about Fields, uh, field to it, and she said, she said, oh yes, I'm a big brother now or something, mm. but it was all right, you could manage it, you could manage it. Mm. And, I, and I was in the army in 18 to 20. Yeah. And, uh, and I was in all the shop all the time. Yeah. And, uh, and I must have come across Tom Locke. Mm. Anyway, I, I asked him, should I join, join his tour? Because he arranged one in September every year. And uh, in fact, he, uh, and I said, I haven't got any money. <laughs> and he, he, he subsidised me. Really? He, he, offered, yeah. he offered, to, offered to pay pay me up a certain amount. Incredible. Yeah. yeah. On that first tour. Yeah. Yeah. Because my parents were my off and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. And, yeah. and, uh, and George was on on those tours, and they say he was a great character and smile. And, yeah. You know, but he, he just organised things. Mm. And then in 1956, yeah. at the time of the Hungarian Revolution, I was in Birmingham at the East End stage with Eric Harris and another of those fellows on that program, my friend, mm -hmm. who's still alive in Newcastle. Oh, yeah. Who say that the new Victoria Hotel in Colmore Road is not there anymore. No. It's on, on the, as they go up the hill from the, so it was on the right hand side, mm. and it was on, on the upper floors, oh shops right. on the ground, yeah. and he went up steep steps to it. And, uh, and um, we stayed there for the week, and we one, two of us we wandered around to, to, we went to Worcester, and, uh, uh, Stratford, and uh, Litchfield, yeah. on, on the train from the Oh, train. yeah. Mm. And then came back to George, of course, and it could arrange these fields. And that's where that field of Todd Hill I mentioned to you. That's when we ran that field. Oh, I see. And yeah. then we read the Daily Telegraph. Yeah. But in the, the, over breakfast. It was all about the news of the Hungarian Revolution. The little tanks going in, whether the, whether the tanks were going to go in or not, and all that sort of Yes, yes. Yeah. And, and uh, so that sticks in the memory. Yeah. And, 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 and say that with George, just, he says, oh, yes, come along. And you know, we, we ran a field at, lost a field at Erlington. Mm. Peter Ball was calling, came with me. Yeah. And and, uh, and we rang it, and the next day we were at Birmingham Cathedral, for some famous Yorkshire or something. And he said, I'm sorry, I can't count the field last night. Yeah. So I started off with um, um, Dexter's field, but, but ended up <laughs> on the aisles. And I don't know how I got from one to the other. So, well, well, I was saying. <laughs> And so then we went to um, Dodder Hill on the Saturday. Yeah, with yeah. Pat, Pat Cannon was there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Did Pat Cannon uh, sort of live in Birmingham at all? No, 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 no. He, well, he was great friends with the, with Ralph Edwards. Yeah. Ralph Edwards was there at the time, living in Erdington. Oh, yes. And he used to come up well, a couple of times a year. Yeah. And again, 
fields were raised. Yeah. Fields were organised by, by George, you know, to yeah. yeah. proper like that. Yes, I believe uh, Pat Cannon called his first field of seven sinks at the Bullring. Well, probably the only There one. is a story about it. Well, but the only one, I should think. Yeah, there was a story about it that somebody, some wag, said to him, stop shouting so loud because we know where the bobs are coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> in the round blocks, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, they used to ring those Carter blocks, the ten course block called it most of the time. Though. Mm. Um, uh, Norman Park told me a story about how, how he went and he, 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 he was a bit puzzled he, he didn't seem to have been any calls for some time. <laughs> and they, were, they, they weren't calling them. Oh, no, right. They were just, just, just carrying on. Just, just, just ringing, ringing through. Them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that so that was the first, that's, that's when I first came upon George, and and, and I, I I inquired about um, I was working in insurance at the time, London, London and Lancashire insurance, Clark, mm. yeah, and, and um, I've been there some years, and, and there was little seemed little no training was sort of done in those days, and I asked about the possibility of going to get more experience mm. of, of going to transferring to Birmingham, oh, and they said, oh, no, no, not possible. But then, uh, then I got married yeah. in 1958, and children came, and then I transferred to the hospital service in 1961. Oh, yeah. We worked for a regional hospital board in Newcastle, and then the time up in Birmingham. Again, on the administration side. And, and then again, uh, I didn't have been to, didn't go to university, so wasn't qualified for this idea that I could see these graduates being drafted in and sort of they're going to get in my way. So I said, there's either one way, you either just stick and yeah. be trodden on or you, yeah. you get out and, and get, acquire more experience by other things. And, and, uh, so, so, um, so, so I applied for jobs within the, the hospital service and I applied for ones in London and Bristol and Birmingham. And, and, um, and there's an appeal here in 1563. So I went down. I was just looking up before he came. Mr. Wilford Williams tour. Oh, yeah. Oh yes, rather. Yes, I'll read of this. So, left North Shields at 12 noon. Had sandwiches whilst driving. Got here at 6:10, and then you rang a peel straight away. A decent peel. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, and stayed with George, George and Doris. Oh, did you? Yes. Yeah. 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 Overnight, and then had an interview the following day at Queen Elizabeth Hospital. All oh, right. Uh, and, yeah. and then didn't get the job. Oh, and then went to Yorkshire Royal Cathedral. Yeah. Then I wrote, wrote after two courses. So I buzzed home for, for, for midnight, but I opened the castle at midnight. That's pretty good for it, isn't it? That's no, no, no motorway to go. Yeah. Whilst I rang Bristol on the light eight. And um, so I didn't get that job, uh, but but my applicant, I must have liked the cut of my chin or something. Oh. So they passed it on to the fellows at the general hospital, which yeah. was in Steelhouse Lane. Yes. Now the yes. 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 That's right. Yes. And 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 was offered a job a few months later. Oh, that was, that so was so I ended up in in August. Uh, there. Oh, I see. Mm. So I mean, this this peel here on eighth of August, sixty-eight. My first peel as a resident. I started work on the Tuesday. Oh yeah. Twelve people turned up with two travel units for Cambridge. Twelve. So Stedman thinks was nicely run. Called by Frank Haynes. Oh. I had to drop the strike the tents properly, but I think I mastered it after a couple of hours. <laughs> with, the, with, with Border on the 10th, yeah. Baron on the 11th, yeah. George on the 9th, and me on the squashed in on the 10th. And uh, how long did that feel? How long did they ring them in? 3.26. Oh, that's... Fairly steady. That's steady. steady. Yeah. We, we, got, we got a bit quicker. Yes, I must say, I've never quite liked the, um, you know, the 
these extra fast peels up, no, no, no. up there. But, uh, but 326 is very respectable. <laughs> then two days later, we found a few of London at, uh, at Shirley with Fred, Fred Ross, Frederick Ross, or no, Cannon. Cannon, he was at, uh, uh, he was at Theological College in Edison. Edison. Oh, was he? Oh, yeah. yeah. Diana Powers, now Diana Handy, from the Lake District, you see, still ringing a lot there. Su Susan Fuller, now Susan Page, down in Chelmsford. Right. You saw Norman Goodman. Yeah, yeah. John Inslee, mm -hmm. me, Roddy, and George. Yeah. Went, I, went to, I went to a tea to Norman Goodman, who was one and seven, that's with Fred and, and Rod, because Rod. I think he lived with them. Roddy was lodging with, that's uh, right, with yeah. Norman Goodman. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so that was that was that was August '63. Mm. Right? And Marion, uh, with one child and was pregnant with Joanna. Yeah. She went back. She was back home. Mm. We didn't we didn't get moved down to October. Can I see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And did you expect to stay for any? And what took you away in the end from Birmingham? Well, oh, the, the job. So I was in the hospital service. So I was at the general hospital for until the. For about three years, and then again, the business that wanted to get on. And yeah. I mean, it was fairly impecunious, you know. With the, the work, hospital jobs weren't well yeah. paid. So I got a senior, more senior job at the Birmingham Regional Hospital Board in Hagley Road mm -hmm. <coughs> in about '66. Yeah. And then in that job, I, I got I, I got onto the sort of personnel angle, the outline angle. And started doing what we, what was then called job evaluation, which was, which was really in the being encouraged by the government of the day to do the income policies and controlling mm. you know, pays and you know, conditions of service, and, uh, and and like that sort of sort of thing, uh, and then it was, it, I felt I was enjoying it and started doing the professional exams. Oh yeah. And then I and then again. Uh, Six, late sixties. Been there six years, and I was actually a bit, bit sort of played out. Really, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd done so much ringing. Yeah, because I, I had really had a look on it. Yeah, yeah. And, and wanted to, uh, but again wanted with two now two children and wanted to try and mm -hmm. do better. I applied for other jobs, but outside the health service, and got a job with the Abbey National. In uh, in Baker Street in London. Oh, really? So that, that oh, brought yeah. me here. Oh, I see. So that you know, I've been here ever since. Oh, in, in amateur medicine. Yes, yes, yes. And of course, you uh, took on the secretaryship of the guild, didn't you? But, oh yes. Well, that, that that's another. That's rather a long story. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you take it would be long enough about. <laughs> well, if you could condense it a little, it'd be interesting for me to know. <laughs> but now, now, say say this this so so all all this book. Yeah, and then quite, quite a lot here. Yes, so I about yes. Uh, there were bits of notes. I mean, I mean a lot of it's fairly mundane because I mean it's just I wrote them up. I mean, within 24 hours, I always right. aim to. And, and, and a lot of it's fairly say, mundane about how, who I travelled with. And, yeah. But, and but I think of, picking things out of that can be very interesting. especially, of course, uh, lost peels are very uh, rarely uh, written down. Yes, the the, the, the lost fields. Are, well, you look at it. They're, 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 it's just a one-line entry, which I kept from 1956 onwards. Oh, I see. So, so a book of lost fields. Yes. Oh, right. Yes, but so you don't put them in this book. No, no. Oh, I see. So, so where where what years is? Eighty-two. 82. Well, look, look at look in the Birmingham time, the mid sixties. Sixty-two. Sixty-three. Yeah, Sixty-three. Oh, yes. Right. So you can just see. <laughs> yes, well, all the usual reasons. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Did you used to know um, John MacDonald at all? Yeah. Well, oh, I yes, yes, but, 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 not, but not very, not very well. No, I don't Cause, think he... Because in the, in, in the 60s, he was... Um, well, what he'd been he was... I don't know when he was married, early 60s, mm. but he was... Uh, he got his children. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, so, so he, he wasn't active in, in the city. No, 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 he wasn't. He was more local to Erdington. Uh, and, uh, yeah. and he, I banged only 
few fields of yeah. two or three. Yeah. Yeah. That sort of number. Yes, because I, I began to go uh, to a lot of triples fields, of course, uh, particularly with him. And we used to have a lot of fun, but we lost an awful lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and he was a, and, and, and George um, hadn't got all that much time for him. No. Because he was, he was a bit too flamboyant for yeah. George. And yeah. He, George used to tell a story, he says, he used to say, uh, so, so he used to arrange these fields here and there everywhere at the drop of a hat. He says, um, do, do you know what happened the other day? I rang up MacDonald and, and, and said to him about the field at St Martin's. He, and, and, do you know what the cheeky cock I said? He says, uh, oh, uh, 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 I'll, I'll come, George, and I can bring the tenor and call it. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I think... I think you probably enjoy sort of making a bit of a you know, oh, yeah, yes, uh, yeah. meal so, of things. Yes. So, so I'm going to say, yes, so. Because <laughs> George uh, had a sort of gentle style, but he, but he was but in, in the 60s, because you have to remember that the, uh, the thing had changed quite radically in the early 60s. Albert Walker, I think, died in 61. 61. So, so there was a power vacuum after Albert. So he, I mean, I knew, I'd met Albert, but I didn't really know him well. Right. But he, he obviously had been a man of um, considerable talent, the obvious talent, but also uh, the, his personality was such that he, he obviously controlled things and kept yeah. things together. There was also Jack Pinfold, John Pinfold, who was also a quite powerful uh-huh. figure. Yeah. But, but, but when Albert left, there was a power vacuum in St. Martin's. And, uh, and, uh, and Frank Haynes was quite keen to yeah. take over the mantle yeah. as Tower Warden. Yeah. Uh, and but, George did too. But, yeah, but, but the end got a hope against George. Yeah. <laughs> because Frank was far too yeah. dilettantish yeah. and waved his hand about and this. Whereas George would get, go around and manipulate and, and talk to the rector and all this sort of thing. So Frank yeah. Haynes was a, was a no, the end got a hope. <laughs> so, 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 so when I got there, that power struggle had, had, had occurred. Yeah. Haynes, Haynes hadn't won. George had. who was tower warden at St Martin. Mm. And then John Pinfold in, in uh, '63. Yeah. I think I think he was starting to be ill. I think he had, uh, and he he decided to give up as ringing master of the of the guild. Oh right. Uh-huh. And so. I came. I came in August '63. John Pinfield said he didn't want to be ringing us anymore. But the next time you were meeting him in January '64. Yeah. And and, uh, presumably, and then there there was there were no other particular candidates uh, around Mm. of a suitable age. Uh, Either were too old. Or, or getting older and don't want to be bothered. Uh, and somebody like Roddy Pipe was far too young at the time, he just graduated, 22. Yeah. Yeah. So, as it happened, they, 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 pushed, they, they pushed me into this job as ringing master yeah. <laughs> uh, of the guild. And right. I'd only been there three months. Yeah. Yeah. So I was elected on the 4th of uh, January. Yeah. And Joanna, the daughter, was, was born. The next day, that <laughs> night, because <laughs> I went from the meeting to the maternity hospital to, to, to see Marion, to see yeah, yeah, yeah. and then she was born in the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and so that which is uh, a strange thing. I I I, I went to Birmingham, and Marion will tell you, but saying you know I wouldn't do much ring because you know the very the very very good ringers in Birmingham are doubt to invite me to ring very much with them. And so that was the, the deal. You see, that I wouldn't, I wouldn't do as much ringing in Birmingham as I had done in Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't turn out that way. So, so, so they elected me ringing master, and then I, I, I can't quite remember. But a few months later, around the, early that time, Frank Haynes decided who was calling, who was the conductor of St Martin's, you know, George the Warden. Yeah. He, he, well, he decided to. Uh, to go, to go back to Cambridge, to, be, to retire early. Oh, really? And then and go back to Cambridge. So, so, so that meant there was a, a vacancy for conductor at St. Martin's, and again there was nobody uh, 
they then to call the things. So, so they made me come up with some mountains as, as well, which is really yeah, a bit, bit ridiculous. It's just been there three, three or four months. So that's so, so I was fully in swim, and but I, but I worked very closely with with George yeah. all those years yeah. for the four or five years, yeah. and um, and very much enjoyed it. Mm. And, uh, mm. But but it's a and, and people talk about what we did, and we did quite a lot. But, but we just got on with it. It, yeah. it was part of the whole thing. And, and, and one of the main things was the encouragement in the, of, of people coming to them and to, to, to want to bring uh, Maxis, Cambridge Maxis. Because mm -hmm. it wasn't widely run yeah. in the country as a whole. Yeah. And the 12 were so good, I suppose. Yeah, and the, 12, and the 12 were so available. And also there was a corpus of people who could ring yeah. pretty well. Yeah, and we're used to ringing weekday deals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because somebody said the other day, I thought it was rather interesting, they said, uh, Birmingham uh, ringers are somewhat different uh, to, to most 12 l guys because uh, they ring their appeals during the week and they're free on Saturdays. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Rather, rather striking. Well, well, when, when I was made ringing much, uh, I said to them, well, what am I supposed to do? And they said, well, there's the quarterly meetings, you have to arrange, look after the ring there. And then there's the... Uh, and there's the uh, Tuesday practices at St. Martin's. Yeah. You have to look after that, and you have to um, uh, arrange peels for us on, on Saturdays and as, as well. But over, the, over time, I, I took over the arranging of the Thursday peels. I mean, George oh, right. facilitated it. And obviously, there was Roddy and Peter Border as the sort of conductors. Mm. But, but, but the fact that I organised. Uh, okay. Arrange the bands and right. and and, uh, and um, discuss things and what we should be bringing and what we shouldn't, or etc. Was George kind of behind those arrangements? I mean, what was his? Well, 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 he'd done. He, he was a bit tired of doing it all because he'd done it for a good number of years, and he was quite happy to let me do it. I see. Yeah. yeah. He'd always be involved. But yeah. But, but he, he sort of. He, he took a bit of a back seat, really. Yes, and he didn't do so much conducting. No, no, no. He could. He didn't. He, he could call. Yeah. But he wasn't. A, he could. He was better than people give him credit for. Yeah. He, he could he called a few hundred people once, yeah. out of his two yeah. two thousand six hundred. But he didn't push himself forward. No. No, no, not well enough. Um, and Borden, Peter Border was on top. He was in his mid thirties. I mean, yeah. he was on top form, and, and Roddy was. Was uh, wanting to do things, but he didn't yeah. want to bring Steddon. Oh, really? See, Roddy didn't. He, he, he abhorred Steddon. He, really? he wouldn't come to St. Martin's. Really? Yeah. yeah. Funny that, isn't it? Funny. He wouldn't bring Steddon. He was a. Uh, no, no, no. So he didn't, he didn't progress his interest until in, into the 70s. Yes, I did notice that looking through the Peel book in the 50s and 60s, there were an awful lot of Maximus Peels and not many no. singers at all. No. Only one or two a year. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so that, so, so the business. Uh, you, you touched on the business of me, me being secretary. I mean, but, uh, very quickly, the story of that is that uh, George had been secretary for a good number of years, and there had been a bit of a history of people being secretary for twenty years. Yes, uh, I believe so. Was Bill. Um, it was Patton Smith. And, and then Russ, uh, um, not uh, Russ, but somebody, uh, Reeves, was it? No. Um, was, it, was, it, was it Reeves? Maybe in Reeves. Tom Reeves. It was Pagan Smith, and then somebody, and then George. And so there'd been yeah. four, 20, 20, and then George had, was 15, and these, these 20 years were up, was up in 69. So, it, so again, he well, it seems sensible things like done his stint and etc. And, and in, in those times when I was working closely with him, he, he, he said to me that, that you know, he, 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 hoped, he hoped that I would take over as secretary oh, right. when, when he came up. Uh, and I remembered this and kind of, in a way, in the mind, held him to it. But it was a, that was a bit of a mistake. <laughs> Because uh, he, because approaching '69, yeah. uh, I, I, I had some illness. I was unwell in the summer of '68, 
and, jo and George started. Well, George was having uh, domestic trials. I mean, he's uh, to do with his son-in-law. Uh, you know about this? Well, this is, I, I know Ruth. This uh, is Ruth's husband. Uh, well, well, she, she married again, didn't yes, she? Yes, she did. Yes. Well, her first husband, he, he was an accountant or something. Right. And, and uh, he was a, a nice fellow, I imagine. But then, you know, just, I think he had a he had some like, medic, medical exam for his, for a life insurance thing, didn't they? And I think they, I think they discovered a heart murmur or something. So he went into hospital for an operation, which went wrong. Uh, and, uh, the anaesthetic or whatever, yeah. and, and, and left him uh, with, with brain damage, yeah. uh, which, uh, and that was bad enough, but it changed his personality a lot. Oh really? Uh, and and, uh, oh, and, and, right. and, became, and he was, he was a, a not a nice person. Oh, how but devastating. So, so, so that, that was all happening in the oh, right. 67, 68-ish. Oh. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Really. Oh yeah. And, and, and they didn't divorce for some years after until some years after. And I think there children. I she had a child. I can't remember. Yes, yeah, there must have been a child from that marriage. She's remember. certainly got grandchildren. Yes, she must have. Yeah, I think yeah. it must be. Yeah. Yes, yes. So anyway, well, that was very, ba very bad news for George. Yeah, and then, yeah. uh, again, around the same time, he, t he, he retired from his job because uh, he was a central electricity generating board. Yeah. Sort of wages and salaries man. Right. Uh, and, uh, and and then he, then he took, took plenty of lots of energy. Yeah. And he, he took a job with the like, the Britannia the Beacon Beacon. There's a Beacon Assurance on in Hall uh, Green. I don't know. I, th I think there was a big office. I think it was the Beacon Assurance. Assurance. And he had a job there as a sort of part time as well. And and he. Uh, and I think he, he he discovered working there that perhaps he should have left his job at the CGB many years earlier because he he realised that his his particular qualities as an administrator and whatever yeah. were, were such that you know, people learning he could have perhaps done a lot better for himself. Yeah. And he cast around more. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 that so his his own. Circumstances, one a, one a cusp, you know, yeah. that change, mm. retirement, yeah. his his only child, marriage, really kind of in a very yucky thing, yeah. and they having to support her and all that sort of thing, yeah. and try and deal with this dreadful problem of yeah. uh, this uh, young young man being damaged. Yeah. Uh, and uh, to be honest, I can't quite remember the details of, of, of it all, but. When that was coming up to this meeting, I was also not not, not well, but he, and he also had a bit of a falling out, or had some argument with with the university with some students. George, uh, he was a bit he he, te he was tended to be. Which remember this is late sixties, so a university of unrest, you know, yeah, student okay. demonstrations. It didn't suit George's. It, no, uh, no, uh, and so he he was tended to be. Against the oh, really? students. Oh, really? Although, That's on the other hand, he, he, he welcomed them. He kind of didn't like the hippie styles and so on. Oh, I see. Oh, that's very interesting, actually, because uh, when I first came to Birmingham, I was—I was I remember being quite aware of a, of a rift between uh, the, the university and the, and the difficulties uh, of being, you know, going to town or perhaps not, not feeling well. Although, I, when I met George and just the two or three occasions. He always seemed very friendly to me. Oh, he would be. Yeah. Uh, but then, of course, uh, old Brian Woolley, he seemed to have got, got it in for the students as well. <laughs> and he wasn't at all friendly to them. Right, right. Well, 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 well George wasn't. And, uh, and, and he, uh, he had difficulties with that. So so, mm. so, so, so I was girding myself to, because George really had too much power. He had the cathedral. Yes. And he had, and, some a, and, some a, and that, and uh, there was too much. He was. Uh, I think that would have, uh, particularly perhaps in those days when people uh, did uh, perhaps uh, become more uh, willing to sort of complain or to want their own spot in the sun and so on. I think you know to to feel that Birmingham was completely dominated as regards ring arrangements by one man would have gone down 
rather badly with many people. Well, I mean, I mean, in a way, I mean, I was running the thing, organizing it, so that, that ameliorated it in a way. But yeah. underneath all, George was having his thing, and he had, he did have too much power. I mean, yeah. he, he shouldn't. He, um, but he also controlled the money, sort of thing. You see, he was keen on money. You know, yeah. But he's quite a wealthy man. Was he? Oh yes. I mean, when he died, I think he left for sixty, seventy thousand quid, which was is a lot of well, a lot of money in nineteen seventy, in the mid seventies. Yeah. But he'd also he's always been interested in money. In fact, because he because the house, was it Henry's house was. Yes, that's right. He acquired yeah, that, didn't he? Yes, he. he yeah. George was the uh, owner. land, the owner. Yeah. I think he also had another house in Smethwick. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but it was interesting in acquiring money rather than spending it. Uh, oh, I think so. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, uh, but he was inter he used to talk about it. You know, oh, I, really? I spent hours and hours with him. Oh, really? Yes, and, and, uh, and there was the allotment business. And the all the allotment, yes. Yeah, which and he also it. had sort of arranged things for the was it the fifty cup? There was some there was some raffle thing that was. He gathered money oh, every yeah. every Sunday morning. He sat at the table at St Martin's and, and gathered in this all this money from people paying in this. Yeah. Was it? 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 Right. But but there was George sort of dealing, dealing kind of get, getting getting all these whatever it was six months a week from everybody and oh, really? and uh, I'm sure he'd get a commission from it you know as the as the controller of these yeah. funds yeah yeah because yeah. I, I don't know if it, what the position is now but the warden then uh, in St Martin's there was there was payment made by the church. yes that's right um, I think uh, who we now call the steeple keeper. Um, does receive some payment from the church, but the rest of the money, which um, which is officially in the account, I think, to pay the ringers, is returned to the church. So, so the ringers don't now don't now get payment, they although they used to. Didn't oh they? Really? yes, 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 you get a bit. Yeah. But I mean, but, but George also paid me as conductor. He paid me more. Oh really? So yes. Yeah. So so yeah. my yeah, my memory would be of something like uh, that the, the ringers got four or five pounds a quarter. Yeah. But I, as conductor, I think he gave me about thirteen or fourteen pounds of water, which is pretty yeah. good a year. It was just yeah. it's much bigger amount then uh, yeah, now. Of course. Uh, yeah, know, so that's but, and and I'm so, I'm sure that he would get double or three times that. I mean, really? Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. Because because there was at some stage, and I can't. I have, I've, I've got no I've no memory of it, and I can't, I've got no notes of it. But I had some disagreement with him about about this payment in the mid in that mid that, that time. I, oh, yeah. I, I seemed to sort of fall out with him about. Uh, I, but I was also gearing myself up to, to, to taking over as secretary, I hope, and, and to but to in, institute change. Yes. And, and you know, to to get the guild going in a more because uh, George had been secretary of the guild. He was secretary of the guild, warden of St Martin's, and ringing master. Yeah, the what he say? Too, too much. much. Yeah. Yes. And um, and so I was out out to, to do, and I published a bit of a manifesto about this, oh. which you'll find John Anderson said that was my big mistake. I should I should I should, I should have get got power and then instituted the reforms. Who well, said I? But I wasn't prepared to do that. I wanted to tell people on what my my platform. Yes. My sort of you know yeah. principles or something. That was a mistake. Stupid person. Stupid boy. <laughs> and, so, yeah. so, so, it, it, in the event in sixty in sixty nine at the annual meeting, I was unwell. I just recovering from an operation. Didn't go to the meeting. Oh dear, yeah. Uh, George didn't support me. He didn't, and I, which I held it kind of. I thought I thought he should have done. Yeah. And Muriel was proposed, oh. and, and I was proposed. But the younger, but I was elected. Uh, uh, but I got myself in the tiz was over the next, so I took the job on. And George wasn't uh, was a bit mean, was a bit mean about passing over the papers and such. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and and I I couldn't stand it, so I I, I packed in after the first meeting. Oh, so I backward, 
couldn't stand couldn't stand it. Yeah. But, and and, uh, and and that caused an extraordinary meeting to be held. Oh, right. And uh, which was very exciting at the time, but <laughs> not very dramatic. And um, and Richard Tibbets was elected. Oh, right. But that but that was all to all that to do was, was to do with a, a rift between really George and myself and me. The feeling that George had let me down because he, he yeah. said that he wanted me to be secretary and he, and he, he didn't yeah. in the end. Yeah. And he supported Muriel. Um, and uh, I won't say things on the tape. Well, <laughs> <No. laughs> what he thought about Muriel. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was all rather complicated. And, and this particular meeting caused a lot of fuss and bother. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was. Uh, yeah. With, with all the younger elements of the table, Penel, the which typically was the Perry Bar, there was a Perry Lock and Perry Bar, and, and McDonald would come in, and he thought it was jolly good fun. He'd yeah. play it, you see. Yeah. And, uh, and then the Inslees and the, and the Cavalier. Mm. It, 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 was, um, it was all done for, for good reasons. And, uh, no, well, it left a scar, sort of thing. But, yeah. but in, in the end, of course, the, the reforms did take place over the period. So the guild became a uh, the guild wasn't acting as a modern guild really. It was uh, in a way a sort of uh, uh, appeal arranging George's kingdom only. Yeah, uh, with, with yeah. Many years. Yeah. 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 I, well, I think it's always been uh, rather difficult, as a matter of fact, to marry the sort of the responsibility for territory, as it were, oh, yes. with, you know, a city sort of uh, yeah. uh, association. I've, I've got here, which you, you're welcome to have, a record of ringing from January 66 to January 69 at St. Martin's. Oh, how interesting. Oh, and, and, wow. Uh, the, the, that the, is interesting. There, there's, a, there's Sunday morning, just a brief. That's very, uh, I tell you why this is especially um, sort of uh, appropriate, is that uh, we keep it. We keep a book now, yes, and they yes. say write down the touches. Yes. And uh, when it's Stedman, they call, they they write the calling. So that that's very interesting to compare. That certainly is a, a historic document. But, uh, nice. and, and in, in, in the middle of the book, that's the Tuesday night ringing. Now that this is again very interesting because that's because that, oh yeah, that's all the practices. Yeah, and I instituted. At some stage, I can't remember when, but uh, to, to, to try and get more involvement for the for the uh, different towers in the guild to yes. come to come to the practice. Yes. yes. So there's a visit of ringers from Noel there. You oh, see, see. Yeah. forty one people there. Really? <laughs> yeah. So, 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 so uh, I think we did that on a sort of quarterly basis. I was going to say, how uh, uh, was this every every week? Yeah, that you well, had the, a practice. The, the practice was every week, week. with a, with a with a peel attempt every month. Yes, uh, and and then and I, I think we did it on a quarterly basis, as say, or uh, to invite other other towers. So, oh, I see. so you can just was that uh, that developed into a monthly thing? You know, a guild monthly. It did it? Yes. Um, uh, I think firstly, well, for many years at St Martin's, and then uh, recently it's been changed to St Paul's. I don't know if you've ever been to St yeah, Paul's. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, which is much more manageable, of course. But the visit for bring us from Aston, thirty people there. You see, gosh, yes, yes. Did you know the Aston? Oh yes, uh, yes. Because they, they were pretty active in the sixties. Yes, well, Dick, Dick, Dick Ingram was yeah. was master of the guild. Yeah, and then there was Alan, Alan, somebody, Alan Burbage. No, there was um, Alan. Short. Short, yes. Yeah. He, and um, because my sister, my sister, yeah, called Julian, Julian Smith. She she was used to ring at Aston oh. in the in the fifties. Oh really? Was, Did yeah, she move she, to Birmingham? Yes, yeah, she was five. Time. She was five years older than me uh -huh. before she married. So in the early fifties, she she was living in Birmingham in Sparkhill or somewhere. Oh, really? Yeah. But, but she wasn't up to the city ringing. But the so she, she used to get on the bus and go to Aston to ring. Oh, for yeah. a couple of years oh, yeah. before she married and moved away. Did she learn to ring in uh, oh, she Newcastle? she learned to ring it in Newcastle. Mm. Were your parents ring it? No, 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 no. It's just a local connect. What was it that well, set you off? Well, from choir boy, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Boy speaking, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yes, you see, oh, that's see, see welcome that's, to Hubbard for the library. That's, uh, thank you very much indeed. I mean, I, I took it with me when it's uh, interesting. You see, it, it's from January 66 to 69. Yeah. Because I've really, in a way, fallen out with them. Yeah. And, and well, I think I continued as conductor until I came there. It was, uh, for somebody like myself, and, and the amount of involvement I had, it was a very intense yes. activity. Yes. Uh, um, the quality of ringing was high, uh, but but the, um, the, the, the I mean, I didn't have a phone. I didn't have a phone at home. <laughs> so, Why not? <laughs> but, well, it wasn't uh, didn't have the money. All right. Uh, and, and not, not everybody had a phone. Mm. They only had a phone when I came here in 1970. Really? So, so you, you arrange things, you arrange it all got on the phone at, at work, sort of thing. Oh, yes. But, but yes. They, yeah. say the, the, the quality of ringing was so high, then there was all the intricacies of the organisation of it all. Yeah. So you got on with it, but, but it's... Uh, it's a lot of it. I really uh, had, a, had enough. I'd had enough of 12 bell ringing. Yeah. Found 12 bell ringing at that, that quality, of that standard. Very taxing, yeah. physically and mentally. Yeah, yeah. And, we, we and they're long peels, of course, for a, for a weekday evening. Aren't oh yes, they? yeah, yeah. 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 So, so you can see, well, see through the peel book. Mm. You're kind of bringing, well, I rang a hundred peels in 1965, I think, or 66. But about 50 of them were Maximus. Yeah. It's yeah. actually just a strain. Just a strain. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I should show you some of these um, photographs, perhaps, uh, in my museum, uh, to see. I don't know if you... Um, this is going back to 47, uh, but it's rather evocative well, of That's Tom, Thomas H. Reeves, that's him. Yeah. He, he was a secretary. He was a secretary, yes. And that's yes. Frank. And yes. Frank and, and Albert Smallwood. Yeah. And there's George. Yeah. Uh, well, this is the uh, thing I've identified, which I, am, I suppose is the one. But where there are a few people, you see, um, I think it's Muriel who's written on the back. Excuse me, I'll just show you. And uh, there were a few that... Um, That's George Swan, is it? Yes, weren't... Um, well, we weren't sure, just two or three of them. Well, what one imagines that the people that we can't identify here, um, somebody called George Ste uh, Swan. Steer, Steer, yeah, Leonard Tuffrey. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know them. Uh, you know what? I would have thought that was more likely to be Edgar Shepherd. Yes. 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 Not, not him. Yes, I think that's tr yes. I think this is th this is the way they stood for appeal, presumably, but it isn't necessarily yeah. there, not in order there. Because because uh, actually Shepherd was a headmaster, wasn't he? Yes, and he wouldn't yes. wear a belt with his uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> that's that's working man's that's thing. Right. Yes, no, yes. You're, I'm sure you're right. Yes, did you know Edgar Shepherd? Oh yes, right. yes, yes, mm, yes. You see, he sounded a very um, oh yes, very, very nice, good man. company. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And um, well, just to show you some of these, that's um, uh, Chaplin. Uh, senior and junior. Oh, yes, yeah, yes. And uh, yeah. Albert Walker. Apparently. Yes, it's because old man Chaplin ran the, the ninth. Uh -huh. for, and there was. Yes. And, and here. Yes. And the, and, the, and the young one, because he never ran well, at all. Well, he never rang much. No, no. no, he just watched. Or yeah, that's right. that. he's, he's still, he's an old, old, very old chap now. Yeah, yeah. Chaplin. And I see him from time to time. Yeah, he just, likes to keep it interesting. He must be in his late 80s now. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Not quite yeah. sure who that that's is. Co that's Holloway. That's Holloway, is it? Yeah. Yes, yes. I yeah. want to write that on there. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he, he, he was a chemist. He had a chemist shop, didn't he? Uh, in Smethwick, was it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. He, um, he, he, was, he, he was a witty sort of fellow. Oh, uh, was he? Oh, yes, right, sharp, sharp, bright. Oh, yeah. He rang the fourth yeah. a lot. Did they tend to ring their own bells? No, they rang the third. Oh, right. I call things from the third, and Charlie Webb rang the second. Yeah. Do you, do you mean Charlie Webb, the, the existing oh, Charlie yeah, Webb, yeah, or yeah, what yeah. Henry Ferd 
Henry Fern used to tell, you know, the existing Charlie Webb that the real Henry oh, uh, Charles Webb what? rang at King's North. Oh, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, There's Rod and George. 1962. Oh, yes. That's, that's Janet, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Who's coming up to his 70th birthday, I believe. Yes, he will be, yes. Yeah. I expect you know John very well. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. yes, yes. Yeah. Um. yeah, I rang a, I rang a couple of peels at uh, Riders. They were, they were good. Yes, they're I now believe in so. That's right, yes, yes, yes. They're good in Harborn, but they're even better in... Uh, and so people say, Harbourn. yes, indeed, yes. So now we don't know that, but I think Wil Wilfred Williams is one of those. Isn't well, that's he? Mason, isn't it? that's Stan Mason there. Oh right. And Haynes. Uh huh. And Walker and Williams. So can you imagine what they're doing there? Ten. Well, my guess is that just from the feel on ten. That's yeah. Pin Pinfold and George at the back. Uh huh. This is this. Well, that's Bill Critchley, I think. G. William Critchley. Oh, right. So it's going to be in the 50s. He left he left Rome in about 60. It'd be rather good to write just on the back of that, if you don't mind, uh, Alan. Uh, or, or, yes, I think on the back is a good place, because then it won't get lost. If we can identify them, sort of left to right, or back row and front row, or what do you think? That's very helpful. Because, you know, the photographs without names are a nightmare, aren't they? I think that's... Does that look, does that, does that look like the same man? I think it looks like the same man. Um, not sure it does. I yes. don't know. Well, where he's wearing glasses. You know. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. And that's Edward's T. Lloyd. Yeah, strange name that, isn't it? Why yeah. was he in the plural? <laughs> and uh, was, was he, he was he a regular? He was a regular. Oh yes, he, he yeah he. Well, I said, Chaplin rang the he rang the eighth and he he rang the ninth. Said Edward T. Lloyd. Oh, right. George Burn Percy. Yes, Ed, Ed, Edwards. Put the putting that on. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he was a he was a he was a grocer. Oh, was General's he? General's shop. Oh, where? In which part of the city? Shirley, Shirley area. I think. Oh, yeah. But he had a, he had a child, a daughter who was, a bit strange and gave him a lot of bother. Oh. Were kind of mentally disturbed. And, oh. And um, I don't know if she's autistic. She may have been autistic. I, yes. can't, I don't know. Yes. Perhaps that word wasn't around at no, the time. No. Yeah. Yes. Well. That's Padden Smith. Smith with his no, secretary. I saw. I saw, I saw Padden, I saw, uh, I met Padden Smith at a, John, at a Johnson dinner back in the 50s. Oh yes. Uh, at the time when, when the great debunker. Oh yes. Thing was the famous. Uh, Padden Smith uh, spoke for was chairman. Or yeah, I think he, he was chairman a lot, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. But but also, when I was at the General Hospital, Padden Smith was a patient. Oh. And, uh, on his really on his deathbed. Uh huh. And yeah. I went. I went to see him. Oh, really? Uh, but he was not with us. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. he died shortly afterwards. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> so well, we yeah. always rather like that picture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I used to know Henry pretty well you know, in his last uh, in his last days. Nineteen eighty. David Bates, oh dear, sad David Bates. Yes, yes. That's that picture. Oh, yes. Came from Brian, Wo uh, from, from our, our Arthur Cook, actually. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah, amazing, isn't it? <laughs> he obviously was a man of great energy. Oh, yeah. Because he used to go and down and uh, do his allotment in the sort of half, half past five in the morning. Did he? Oh, yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, he used to, he used to go do his gardening, didn't he? Five, half past five, six o'clock. Then come home, have his breakfast, and then cycle to work. Astonishing, that really. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then, and then he'd finish work and cycle into the city. 
bring appeal. To bring appeal and cycle home. I mean, and he it, it, it put out his hands, you know, and some people said, oh, what, what, but he need always uh, try and calm, especially young, younger ringers, visitors. Yeah. Uh, you know, hands of toil. I've been working at the blast furnace all day with his hands and his squashed hat with his. Yeah. That's, I think, in St. Philip's Belfry. Right. At uh, the time there were... I, I suppose, yes, I think it's a press photograph, probably, yeah, isn't it? I mean, otherwise, why would he be so dressed up? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I think that's uh, um, a dinner at the Imperial Hotel. Yes, that hasn't been written on. That's yes, saying that's, that's, that's his daughter. Frank Haynes' daughter? Yeah. Oh, yes. That's from, from the first marriage. Uh-huh. And uh, yes. is she the one who lives over in Ipswich or somewhere like that? Possibly. Yeah. She's, she's, she's older than me, so she's going to be in her, yeah. into her 80s now. Yeah. I've forgotten the name. No, I don't know. But uh, mm. that's Albert. Yes. Not that's Doris. Henry. But, oh, that's that's Winnie uh, Mason. That's Stan Mason. Oh, yes. And that's Win Winifred. Perhaps you could just write that on somehow. I'm not quite sure how we annotate this. <laughs> that, that's Ted Collins. Right. What was his connection? Yeah. Do you know? Or, you know? Or, well, the great... Uh, well, it was part of George's... Cir big circle. Big, the big circle. Uh, yeah. he's, and people like him... Went to stay at George and Doris so at least once a year. I used to stay with them for the dinner, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and um, people travelled around a lot, a lot for sort of weekend peel ringing and so on. Did George go away quite a lot? No, or, no. He, on tours, peel tours, he did. But, yeah. but uh, no, he said, why, why should I, why should I go away? I can wait here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to put those? Yeah, I'd down? be very grateful if you would. I think she, I think she was called um, Priscilla. Oh yeah, Priscilla. That yeah. So, yeah. I did have some contact with her years ago. Just because when in '56 when we came, uh, when uh, with my friend who had a holiday, uh, uh, Frank was generous and took us around and took us to the Conservative Club in Smethwick. Oh yeah. And then he took us home and and, um, and she was living at home. Then. I see. Yeah. Yeah. had been um, uh, bell hanging to Gillett and Johnson. Oh yes, yes. D didn't he live down south somewhere? Uh, um, Croydon. Oh, oh, did he? He was in charge at um, 12 and Croydon. Oh, was he? You may be interested to see this folder of stuff that uh, Ruth gave me, actually, uh, some before George became a ringer, uh, school report and things like that. <laughs> yes, I, I wouldn't recognise him from, no, from then. No, no. But he obviously uh, he he had, was he determined... He had a lovely, lovely hand. Yes, yes, as his brother did. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he obviously strived a lot, didn't he, to, uh, you know, to achieve. He, he told he told me that um, he had he had been offered or had thought about moving to London within the electricity generating board. Uh -huh. I think he'd had an offer of a of a uh, job. Oh yes. Uh, uh, but but declined. Uh, and um, I, I think in his later life. 
in the late 60s when he was then around 60. But that he, in a way, regretted. Oh, that's interesting. But not not take, having that, taking that opportunity. Oh, right. I I, I think he realised that he'd been, he could have done more uh, with his life than yeah. he had done. But, he, but he, if he'd run more peels than anybody else, uh, yeah, but he could have done. He could have even done that and more. Oh, you think? Oh, yeah. yeah I think yes. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, so I, t I talked with him hours and hours. Oh, right. Because because I, I was always there. Yes. He was always there. Yes, yes. And sometimes when people didn't turn up, yes, sometimes it happens on those yes. practices. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's interesting because I suppose, as regards ringing, at least he was the king pin. Oh yes. You know, whereas if he went to London, he'd find that more difficult, I expect. Y yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yes. I, I, th I think he, he he opted to be the the big fish. Yes. In the smaller pond. Yes. And yes. He, he perhaps he thought that London had. But uh, yeah. I think thank you. No, I think that, that, that's Ralph. That's Ralph Edwards. Yes. Uh -huh. Arthur Pearson. That's Arthor Pearson there. Oh yes. Who? I know. Just remind me about Arthur Pearson. But, well, he he was at uh, Claverley. Lived mm -hmm. in Claverley. Mm -hmm. When he was he was the Archdeacon of Stafford person. Right. I don't know if he lived at this school, but he, he was a thousand peeler. Was he? Uh, but he was uh, active in the. Uh, he used to come into Burnley into the cathedral fields. But he's also on George's sort of field week. Oh, uh, was he? I think I better just write in there. Is it? If, uh, and do you recognise. Oh, well, this is George in the middle, and that's Ralph Edwards. Edwards. And do you, you recognise. Is that Morris by any chance? No. Bullen, Ron Bullen. Where would he have been from? Uh, he was London. He was uh, uh, Arthur Pearson. There was a that would be appeal to one of Tom Lott's appeal to yes. I reckon. Yes. Sorry, could you say the name uh, again? Uh, Ronald. Bullen, B U L L E N. Yeah, from London. London, but then he, he, he retired to Derbyshire or somewhere. Yeah. And um, Ralph Edwards. Ralph Edwards. Yes. Who, of course, we, we used to see even in his 80s. He rang the tenor of oh. Bullring not, not long before he yeah. died. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to put that away. Thank you. I mean, uh, uh, in my early I, he was on those early tours. I. I both with George and with Ralph, I, I sought to emulate their their style, ringing big bells. Yes. Yeah, yes. So, is this Ralph Edwards again? That's Ralph Edwards. Yeah. Yes. Just yes. He worked for Bryant and May. Matches. Well, the wood. Wood, wood. does it? Uh, but, but I mean, part of with, part, part of it was um, making matches out of the wood. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think Bryant and May. Yes. Where do they? Uh, uh, Boston, Boston area. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, and he, he used to hum, Arthur Pearson used to hum to the roll-ups. <laughs> you know, you get a roll-up. Is that rather off-putting? Good ear. So he was in tune. Okay. Yeah, but it, and he used to call quite complicated things from the inside belt. Oh, right. You wondered if it was going to come round, you know. <laughs> But he's quite pretty good at it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is one of the. This is a Tom Lock tour. Right. Yeah, that's Tom Lock, you see. Yeah. Where, where did Tom Lock. Oh, it was half the tour, was it? Yes, Somewhere. North Mims. Perhaps we could. Okay, we could another name. Well, yes. No, we can't do Tom, that. Uh, all. Got a, a, a Tom Lock tour. Yes. Would you be on there, perhaps? Well, I don't remember this particular one. That's. That, that's that's Chapman Sussex. Yeah, we got um, yes, yeah. Len, Leonard, Len, mm. Len, and Stilwell, oh, Dennis yeah. Knox, yeah. Philip Mahu. Oh yes, that's that's a fellow from from uh, Malden, Ron Sharp. Yes, don't know who that is. Arthur Pearson. Yeah. 
That's Alex. Alex. Somebody from Wilsdon. <laughs> right. Who, who was the organiser for, uh, been charge at Wilsdon for donkey's years. Uh -huh. the whole, yeah, very of, active uh, town. Active, uh, and yeah. hundreds of yeah. surprise methods. Yes, yes. That's that, that's that Ron Dunn. That's, that's Phil Rogers from Sussex. Mm -hmm. That's Mrs. Locke, yes. Kathleen Locke. Yes. So he had that, quite that, a big... That's Corby, that's Phil Corby. Oh, yeah. He had a big party of people with him then. On oh, these oh yes, yes, a, a, a shower van, you know. Yeah, oh yeah. That's George. But were they, uh, I mean, well, it was mainly peel ringing, was it? Oh, that's, uh, to, that was, yeah, that's Andrew Corby. He's now... Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not aware, I can't remember who she is. Tom Bob. Yeah. I can't remember them, but no. I'm, not, I'm not there. No, all oh, right. <laughs> Is that also one of... Yes, it looks like it. Yes, yeah. Yeah, it's bound to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. That's Mrs. Hodgson. Morris Hodgson. You see, I've come... Of oh, composition. Composition. Oh, right. But 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 he. But, but uh, Mrs. Hodgson looked after the Ringer's diary for many years. Oh. And lived in Chesham. Oh, really? Oh. If, that's Corby. That's his wife. You see, she's still alive. Mm. In the, in, she's in her nineties now. All oh, right. This is going to be early 50s, I think. That's, that's Mrs. Locke. Yeah. Tom Locke. Eddie Rapley, Edgar R. Rapley. That's right it. in the middle there, yeah. sitting down. What, 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 do, you, do you know him? Or? Yeah, yeah, Sussex. He was a good man. Like, good yeah. 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 Well, that's, that's Freeman, I think. That's, that's Bill Freeman of Lincoln. Oh, yeah. Now, called, he was called. John Freeman, really, he was chairman of the city council. But, but, but uh, the Ropers always called him Bill, because his father was also John Freeman. Yeah, I see. But yeah, he was John A. Freeman, yeah. so they called the, the son Bill. Bill. Yes, yes, oh, that seems to happen. I think that's the lot. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, still. Um, you know, of course, the, at the Bullring, you know, there's quite a lot of this sort of stuff. Yeah. And, um, uh, you know, I sort of feel I ought to do something about it. <laughs> But I haven't quite decided how to do it, right? Because um, I mean, a lot of these association histories are dull as ditch oh. water. Oh yes, yes, they're awful. Yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I want to avoid that trap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, on, on with these these peel books, I say uh, uh, I don't I don't know what you'd like to do with. Uh, well, I'd I'd love to have a read through, uh, if I may. Uh, somehow, just you know, because uh, you always—I mean, for instance, with the worst appeal, you—you you know, you—you uh, you said quite a lot about it, didn't you? And um, I was very impressed that you could uh, summon up. I don't think many people do keep uh, more well, than well, just. Well, no, there's one or two, but very few. Well, you see, I mean, look, 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 just have a read of that, you see, just quite a bit. Yes, York Minster, Cambridge Maximus. Oh, is this downstairs? Yes. <laughs> they were murder, weren't they? Oh, well, we, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Five year tours ring there. I wrote for the Bells over three years ago. Okay, an early train. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's interesting to know. You know, it, it all. And when you, when you've got a lot of information like this, it, what, you know, you can see what what's yeah. interesting about it. Can't yeah, you? Yeah, you see, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. Yes, yes. So. Um, so, so that's the. Oh, that's the. Because 
Oh yes, I remember um, Eileen Sweet at um, Harbour did that writing for. Yes. Have you kept joke? I mean, do, do you still come ringing it in Birmingham sometimes? I mean, that's I haven't been for some years. You haven't. No. no, no. 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 Well, so, it's, it's only in recent years that, that I went past my total at um, uh, or, or appeals in, in, a, in a tower. St. Phillips, St. Phillips was my top tower. Oh, right. Um, over 200. And that, it's only in uh, the last three or four years that I've gone past that. Uh -huh. It's now Maidstone. <laughs> oh, really? So you go around quite a bit? Oh, I saw them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't how, how easy is Maidstone to get to from here? <laughs> so it's only 80 miles. Right. And you've been there how many times? Oh, 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 just on to coming up to 250 people. <laughs> <laughs> Around the M25. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. And they're a good ten. Aren't they? Oh, yes, they're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'd love to read through this, uh, Anne, sometime. I mean, the only thing is, you know, you, you obviously want to insure it for a large sum of money. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can bear well, well, the part with it. Well, the alternative would be for me to, 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 as it were, go through it and yeah. and photocopy. Yeah. Uh, the ones with, with it, what, what I thought was with, with some interest in. Some of yes. them are just okay. really, really not. Well, if you, if you'd rather do that, that's yes, yes. Would, would that be a yes, absolutely a sensible it's, it's, thing to do? Yes, yes, that would be very nice indeed. Yes, it would. Yeah, it certainly would. Yeah. Uh, did you um, did you um, uh, uh, do a lot of ringing with Henry Fern, or did did? I mean, I know he tended yeah, to just, sort of take a rather. I'll just get another book out. I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> uh -huh. this, this is a, this is another peel book. Yeah. Except it is a what it is is a you know the ringing world diary the, the diaries the ringers yeah. diary is a one line entry for peels. Yeah. So I, I would, I used this and and and, uh, and started this up some time ago. So the, the, these are all my these these are all my peels and on a one line entry. You see. Oh, I see. Yes. So so can the Burm, the Burmese, Burm, what, what, Oh, who you rang with? Or no, no, this is just yeah. just just the uh, a one line entry. So right. So so, so but I, I then I've got information about. People and towers. So oh yeah. These are the S's, you see. So oh right. So okay. Ferns. The ferns are here. Yeah. But here's Henry Fern. I, I ran uh, twenty peels. Yes. With him. So Whereas with George, how many would that be? Well, he well, was three hundred and thirty-eight. Yes. There's a big difference there. Oh, oh yeah. So 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 Henry, he was he was there in, in when I was first there. He'd, and he'd be a reluctant person. He'd ho hover around the cathedral, but hoping he would, that George wouldn't spot him and call him into ring. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but but I always regarded him as having, in in some respects, a bigger influence than George did on really? on, on on ringing because really? because he, he used to talk about it to to, to younger people mm. in his in a typical Henry way. Hand in hand, sort Yes. Yes. And 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 be quite meticulous and be constant about uh, saying how you should you should keep them clear at backstroke and and how you shouldn't divide eight into two fours. Mm -hmm. You should go and you shouldn't go dod on at the end. You shouldn't go seven eight. You should go seven eight. Yes. Uh, yeah. And and he'd keep on on with this and and oh, he said oh, yeah. slow <laughs> blow in seconds. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. And but him doing this 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 sort of thing gently, but carrying on doing it, uh, uh, making so he made people aware that he was listening all the time, not not particularly critically, but he could hear and, and would have an opinion about it. Yes. But, yes. That's uh, right. And, and and that 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 could have over time, I think, quite a considerable effect. Yes. Well, he was extremely personable, and perhaps. Well, I thought perhaps a rather warmer way than George, in a way. I mean, I know George was always very positive, I suppose, yeah. but uh, Henry was somehow more friendly, uh, perhaps. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Know. Just, uh, he had a lot of stories. He was more interested in people, perhaps. I yeah, yeah there were chalk and cheese a bit. I mean, he wasn't... He, yes, he was perhaps more interested in people was 
than George perhaps was more interested in, 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 in money. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I, I never got. To, I don't know if you know this, the story of what happened when George died about cathedral finances. Uh, no, uh, no, I don't. Is, there was a bit of trouble, was there? Do, no. I, I, I suspect so, but but mm. it was. I think they pushed it up. No, possibly. Yes. No, I've never had much connection with the cathedral, and uh, uh, you know, only run there occasionally. Because uh, really. George was always careful about collecting the whatever the dues were at the time. Mm. Uh, and, and I, I'm, not, I'm not sure whether <laughs> no, what happened. What, yeah. what happened to them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 it's and curious uh, that, isn't it, really? Because you know, you think if he worked in salaries and so on, that you know, that, <laughs> that people you know do need. You know, it's a sensitive matter, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It causes trouble. Yes, and, and I don't, I don't know what happened. No, no, that's strange. But that's Michael Fellows. Yes, I didn't know him actually. Oh, he was, he was, a, he was a super fellow. Oh, yeah. As you know, died at 26, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Ulcerative colitis. Oh? Uh, so that's where you. where you. colitis, you know, the colon. Mm -hmm. It ulcerates. Yeah. And, and then it tends. To, and you tend to. Uh, if you have operations, it, it, your body tends not to get enough nutrients in because uh, the yeah. colon isn't working properly. And if they took the bits away, you end up. I think these days they can the treatment is better, mm. but 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 it, I mean it was, it was a tragic uh, yeah. early death. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so I can I can make out as I say I ran 175 with Michael Fellows. Oh, he, right. He's only yes. 16. He's up. Yes, I it's see. just getting a bit weak that book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this is an interesting. Uh, Collection of names because I'd love to see you know which names stand out. Uh, the, early, Anderson, uh, the, the early names are on this page for some strange reason. It is John A. Not John A. Because John E. Anderson is a new customer. Yes, sure. Yeah. So I rang not all that many 50, 60, 70, 84. Right. Feels. Right. Mark, Mark, right. Mark Androli, he was a Perry Barbinger. Oh, I've never heard that name actually. He's now, he's out and he's a policeman in, in Toronto. Oh, really? He, oh, he right. still like, does some ringing. Oh. I rang a few with him in Toronto. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> he was one of David, he was just a, a school lad, one of David Fennell's people. Oh, really? Yeah, it's an unusual name. Does yes. he come from a, yes, some, some, uh, some, some European uh, background? Yeah. Yeah, you need to look at that page. Yeah, yes. <laughs> well, 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 the, 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 the system's cracking up. Yeah, you, know, you can see it. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the book's falling to bits. Yeah. Thus, I mean, I mean, I notice um, David Beecham. You know, he's been he's been in Worcester ever since. You know, when oh, yeah. I was a kid. Oh yes. When I first went yeah. to Worcester. I remember. I remember when I first went to Worcester in the '56. Yeah. We went to rang at uh, St. All Saints, would it be? No, the other one. Oh, St. John. Uh, across the river. Where right. I, yeah, that's where I learned to ring. Oh, right. Yeah, with well, you, Neil. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well um, David Peacham, when I went there, he was working in an upstairs thing. He was a, was he a jeweler or something? Like, what was he? I don't know. Yeah. yeah I don't he know. was working in a shop, I think, when we kind of waved to him out through the window. Oh, yeah. yeah so but I remember, he, I, I remember thinking he was an old man then. <laughs> he looks just but, the well, same. He said about um, Arthur Cook or Peter Cook. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Let's see if Cook. That's oh. long, long cook. Oh, is he not less? Oh, there he is. Oh, Van Oh, okay. Van Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there's one other. Causa, Causa with Beryl uh, uh, Tamworth. Yes. He was, a, he was an ex Yorkshire Association fellow. Or, or Tony Cleaver, he, he was uh, Sully Hall. Yeah, yeah. But he only went and moved to Bristol or something. Uh -huh. there's, there's some a few peels of Stedman in the yeah, compositions. Yeah. Don Clift. Oh, some, Don Clift, He yes. seemed to be a Printer. friend. Uh, a friend, you know, he people seemed to know him. I think he was a friend of Ralph Edwards, wasn't he? Yes, uh, yes, yes, uh, yes.
<laughs> he's certainly got a lot of names here. By the way, uh, do, uh, you know Peter Beresford? Y yes. Because, of course, he sort of turned up in Birmingham again. Oh, right. And he rang... Uh, I saw he rang a peal of Stedman. That's right. And he's been, he's been ring he rang a peal of seven triples in hand. I think it was the first one or something. Oh, right. Only just the other day oh, with uh, okay. Alan Burbage. Well, I was, uh, I was in... He and I were in the army together. Oh, really? We, yes. We, we in Aldershot? In yeah. Aldershot, in the yeah, uh, yeah. area. And we rang... We either went for or appeal or fought appeal of services. Yeah. The old, the old servicemen mm -hmm. together. Because yeah. he came from Litchfield, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Because the sister just died, and she just recently killed. I believe Joan, so. Yes. Joan yes. Summerhays. Yes. Yes. Because we got the Forster um, boys in Birmingham. Oh yes. Or at least uh, one of them. The other, all has gone off to uh, Germany. Yeah, yes. They're very keen, both of them. Yeah. My wife um, learned to ring in St Albans, and uh, um, what, what was her name? Uh, Sa uh, well, Sarah Pickles, Pickles, right. and I learnt at St Michael's right. um, with many of her sisters. Oh, and, right. um, we, well, of course, you know, used to visit St Albans a lot until recent times when her parents both died. Uh, Derry Hampton. Oh, right. Did you run quite a lot with no, him? No, well, not Did all. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, a fair bit. Yeah. How many fields there? Thirty, forty, fifty. But yeah, but he, but he was working. He didn't do much ringing in the sixties. Oh, right. mm. uh, I rang most. I rang m most of these were, were, rung, were rung with him after oh, right. after I left. Yes, down in Devon. Well, well no, or when or I went back to, oh, okay. I used to go back a fair bit. Okay. And, but he was working away uh, a lot. He worked from Dunlop, didn't he? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Steve Ivan, I see you've got there. Oh yes, yes. Where did you do that ringing with Steve? All over, or was that? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, at Bedford. Oh, right. Well, I also on on tour with him. I was on tour with him in, in the fifties. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he's. I think his health is rather bad now, isn't it? Well, he's got can 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 uh, bone, uh, blood cancer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which Still, he wrote me a very cheerful email recently. Which was, uh, yeah, which I was glad to have. He's a great character. I always say say with Steve, he's an exciting man, but he's you best not you best that uh, you best to have um, be slightly removed from him. <laughs> right, I could imagine. I could imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just looking through for Birmingham type names. Oh, I see, yes, you've got John McDonald here with about is seven, is it? Is that all? Is that, that him there? Yeah, well, yeah, that, that's seven that. fields, yeah. Yeah, that's right, yeah. No, he, he liked to run his own ship, actually, later on, particularly. You know, he, he, we, we used to go for triples almost all the time. And yeah. we still do. Alan Burbage says, now he says, it really makes me laugh. Because he used to be in charge Alan, oh, yeah. at, at, at St. Martin's and so on. Yeah, yeah. Now, he's in charge at St. Chad's, and he says he doesn't even accept Peel's uh, on 9 or 11 for Stedman, he only rings triples. He's <laughs> completely obsessive. <laughs> uh, but of course, they recently, I mean, you know, we have a lot of fun. I don't know if you saw me, I wrote recently uh, from some chads, as it were, about um, Stedman triples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, um, you know, we really get into it uh, and ring silent touches and things like that. And they, uh, Alan and you know, a couple of brilliant lads from the university and Charles Webb, yeah. they rang the first peal of scientific triples in hand. Oh, really? Yeah, just about a year ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They were very pleased with that, actually. Yeah. 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 Now, what, Rod, what? Rod will be here somewhere, won't he? I think he's... he's you know. Well, I'm... Yeah. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Oh, a lot. A lot. 260, 270, 285. Yeah, yeah. I'll transfer this from some other book, you see, it's 161. Oh, plus. from an I see. Yes. <laughs> no, this one. Not a sort of accounting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Muriel, Muriel, you see. Oh, yeah. 60, yeah. 70, 
Uh, yes, it was uh, Steve Ivan who said something, or George would say something to Muriel, and Muriel would come to the tower complaining she was tired after work, and George would say, uh, well, Muriel, I don't suppose you've been spending the day uh, working at, in front of a blast furnace stripped to the waist. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm told. Yeah, there's that. There's Jill, Jill Fielden's brother. Yes, uh -huh. just died. Oh right. Yes, yes. He was at Ringer, was he? I didn't know. Yeah. Andrew Stubbs. Yeah, well, he's not in very good shape actually, physically. You, he's You've been, run a lot with him, though. He's been ill. He, he's been ill just again, just recently. Hasn't well, he, uh, of course, he has this. Um, he's got a colostrum. Yeah. That's right. And um, I mean, he, he was pretty seedy at that time. Of course, he looked very unwell and all that. But he got back into ringing. Oh yes. Yeah. And uh, I, I, it was about what two years ago, or mm. I don't know. I don't three, know. Three, three. three. But uh, you know, just recently, well, the last couple of weeks I've seen him. He's come into some chairs, but he really looks terrible yeah. actually. So I don't know what's going on. He said he, you know, he just doesn't feel well. So. Well, he's been around a long time. Yeah. Well, he's younger than me. Is he? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, he's not <laughs> as old as he looks. I, 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 mean, I don't think he's 70, is he? No, no, I don't think he is. No, no, he's younger than he looks. But, um, oh, Bill Theobald. <laughs> That's going back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where, did, where would you run with him, do you think? Well, here and there, with Williams. Oh, right. Richard Tivitz. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're locked with him then. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was ringing with Michael Uphill um, two days ago. Oh, I see. And Michael Uphill quite a lot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Wood, was it Brian Woodruff was in Birmingham in the. Uh, he was at the university. Oh, yeah. Now, in the 50s. In the 50s? Yeah. Where is, where is he? He's down in, in Hampshire now. Yeah. Where's Charles? What? 24. Yeah. Right. Yeah. See, somebody like Clark Walters used yeah. to come across to, to, to learn how to do it properly. <laughs> but Ernie Wilcox, he's, he's... Oh, yes, he recently died, died didn't he? he? Yeah. Did he him. come into Birmingham? Or what was the connection? Or was it Cliff Barron? Cliff, Cliff, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, Sorry. And Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Webb, he's still around, isn't he? Yeah, uh, in Droitwich he lives. Yeah, was he? Yeah, yeah he moved from me. There's Brian Woolley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who lives also in Droitwich. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And then, then these are the... Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Fun. What's this? Well, well that, then, then you come on to towers, you see, so you have to oh, look, look for Birmingham. There's the, there's the cathedral. So there's 211. Oh, right. Yeah. And then yeah. somewhere, well, I've got... Well, here, here's what bells I've run. Oh, right. Just 60, 70, 80. 90 peels on the 11. <laughs> so when it wears out, <laughs> we'll have to send the bill. 42 on the tenor. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a lot. Yeah, that's St. Martin's. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you run the tenor at uh, the new St. Martin's? Yeah, yes, yes. Well, a couple of times, eh? Yeah. Have you run them on 16 or 12? Both. Oh, All right. Because. Um, oh, right. Ryan Morris's official thousand. All oh, right. Thousand. We ran plain and. Oh, okay. And then I ran the uh, Sexaginta right. Maximus. Oh, right. On the tenor when I was 60. Oh, right. So yes. I also ran a peel at St. Martin's on, on the pentatonic part. Oh, yeah. Two fives, same notes. Yeah. Ending with the 11th of the tenor. Who was that? Whose idea was that? Not mine. <laughs> right. So, so it's, yeah. I've forgotten what bells. You, but the, the notes, there was two fives. Yes. Pentatonic fives, yes, whole right. note. Then, then what did you read? Peter came and go. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, yes, I think it is interesting to have these. I don't know whether I want to make a feel of it, but uh, maybe I'm certainly interested. But yeah. I do that quite a bit of Amersham doing these pentatonic things, oh, and yeah. mine and such. Yeah. Uh, with modern. With uh, I think with modern tone bells, with, with, with the, yeah, with Simpson tuning and and and, and, and tune together, they're, they're, they're very appealing, yeah. beautiful sound. You, if you try and do the same thing on a, uh, just a, 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 sweep, a sweeping machine, oh right, 
once, 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 every once every six months. <laughs> okay. With, with the, if you try and do that sort of thing on on older yeah. older people, oh, yeah. yeah. yes, yes, that's true. Yeah, of course, in in Birmingham, I mean, we've we've had so much uh, uh, modern modern bells, haven't we? I mean, there's hardly anything that isn't new. Yeah. Really yeah. Well, we've got, we got some superb things, haven't we? Yardley and Perry Bar and Kings Yeah. Oh, yeah, loads of them. Yeah, yeah. Aston, I, I, I like.